Ah! Oh, Jacob, Evie, it's you. Thank goodness. Experimenting, are we, Alec? Correct. And looking a bit frazzled. Nerves. It's those great oafs Starrett keeps sending round to coax me. He is offering a ridiculous amount of money. Alec, you're not thinking of jumping ship, are you? Never. I've been working in something in case they get too insistent. Uh, it's meant to stun an assailant, should they need a rise. Are you certain that it works? Uh, not as such. I I've made three of them with varying degrees of acidity and whatnot. But one must be the right formula. Let's find some Staric lackeys to target then, shall we? <laughs> Speaking of Staric, he is still transmitting false information. We could simply destroy his transmitters. His company's too well guarded. And the bombs will help, but it would be awkward to produce bombs that potentially do not stun. Oh, wait a minute. Looks like opportunity has come knocking. Oh dear, they never looked so angry before. Stand clear, Alec. Let us instead play a little linguistic game with them. Um, take the bombs and climb onto the roof. Uh, when I see the name of uh, a fruit, Toss one near the thugs. Right then. Oh, uh, oh wait, uh, I nearly forgot. Um, slip these into your boots and you will henceforth be immune to all voltaic discharge. I think. Gentlemen, oh, I would ask you in for tea, but I'm afraid I'm running rather late. Enough of the nice teas. We've come to smash your place up, ain't we, Bess? You got one of them telly what's it's in here, ain't ya? And you've been reading messages from the Steric Company. That is as untrue as the notion that the Steric Telegraph Company is emitting impartial information, sir. Come again? Your employer's promises are nothing but hot air. His operations are about to turn pear shaped. What you going on about air and pears for? Oh, I don't know. I feel rough. I worried you had the mental agility of a dollop of donkey's apples. Apples? I think he's trying to be funny. Oh, you dropped another one, Bill. You little sod. Well, I ain't me, Bez. Oh, go blind me, it's got me throat. Oh, oh, those rascals throwing stink bombs again. It happens all the time around here. Let's see how far you get. 
One. Do you really think I would keep it here? Do you see a cable? A telegraph without a cable is about as useful as a bell without a clapper. I'll give you a bleeding clapper. Well, bless my boots, you're as purple as a plum. <laughs> Wobbly, Baz. <sighs> Sorry, it's been a kidding. Maybe two. Bravo, Alec. Thanks to you, Jacob. Your mere presence gave me courage and resolve I never knew I had. <laughs> I found myself rather witty, too. Well, make some more bombs and let's sort out Starek's propaganda machine, shall we? The longer we can keep Starrick from spewing out false information, the more we can awaken the people by the truth about his operations. Let's get to it, then. Would you believe my mother says there are still some wives in our street that swear by that shooting cell? So I took it upon myself to tell her neighbors the truth about the obnoxious draft. Good on you, Alec. But you can't go knocking on everyone's door. No, I wasn't always welcome. It shows how false information can be as difficult to stamp out as fishwives and profanities of Billingsgate. <laughs> or rats in the sewers. But if we can eradicate a source that continually feeds such detrimental trash, then little by little the truth will take the upper hand and the sham will be flushed out. Let's crack on. Here we are. We will have to get out if they're being detected light. Well, I stun them. You sneak inside. I shall destroy not one, but three parts of the transmitter. You'll be as good as dancing before a public toilet without a penny. I see. This is becoming rather perilous, to say the least. God, you're a little bugger. We'll have to cross over here. Oh! <laughs> 
Move on to the next part, Alec. Jacob E.V., thanks are once again in order for supporting what is most dear to me and to our cause, freedom of speech. It's a blessing that you employ your genius for the common good, Alec. However, I suggest you vacate your workshop. No need. Not now you've given me sacks full of courage. And besides, what with my little devices, I have all the protection I need. Uh, should you find yourselves with a moment to spare, do drop by. <laughs> uh. <laughs>